In this example, what we're going to be looking at is the hydrogen emission spectrum. Now, in order for that to occur, what happens is we have a nucleus, so there's a nucleus, and we have a bunch, a series of orbitals. So there'll be the first orbital, second orbital, third orbital, and then the fourth orbital. And what we want to look at is we want to calculate the wavelength for the first and second members of the Balmer series. Now the Balmer series is that portion of the electromagnetic spectrum from, or I'm sorry, that portion of the electromagnetic spectrum from the hydrogen emission spectrum that pertains to the visible light. And so for the first one, what we have is for the first series, we're going to have N is equal to 3. And what that means is, is if we have an electron in an excited state here and it can get there by, by an electrical discharge, that it's going to radiate down to the N equals 2 state. And from that, light is going to be admitted. And then what is the wavelength of that light from the electron traveling from the third state to the second state? And so in order to do that, we're going to use the following equation. Where, well, this is going to be the inverse of the wavelength. R is going to be the Rydberg constant, which is 1.097 times 10 to the seventh inverse meters. This is to its ground state, and then this is from the excited state. So if we plug this in, we get 1 over lambda is equal to R, which is 1.097 times 10 to the seventh inverse meter times 1 over 2 squared, which would be 1 fourth minus 1 over 3 squared, the 3 from here, which would be 1 ninth. <clears throat> we calculate this, and what we end up getting is 1, 5, 2, 3, 6, 1 inverse meters for the inverse uh, wavelength, or the inverse wavelength, yes. And such that now our lambda, we take the inverse of this, take the inverse of that, and what we get is we get 6.5. 5, 6 times 10 to the negative 7th, which is equal to 656 nanometers, which is the red portion of the spectrum. Now the next one asks us to do the second series, or the second member. The second member is going to be n equals 4. In that case, what happens is we have an electron in the fourth orbital, and it's going to relax down back to the second orbital, and light is going to be given off from that. What is the wavelength of this light? Well, we're going to use the exact same equation. So it's going to be 1 over lambda is equal to the Rydberg constant, which is 1.097 times 10 to the seventh inverse meter times 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 4 squared we get 1 over, oops, we get 1 over lambda is equal to now, this is 2.0569 times 10 to the eighth meter minus 1. Now, we take the inverse of both, and what we get is 4.8. 6 times 10 to the negative 7th meter. Or we can say this is equal to 486 nanometers, which is going to be in the blue portion of the spectrum. I just noticed I made a mistake. There should be another 1 here. I'm sorry for that. There should be another 1 there. 1, 5, 2, 3, 6, 1, one. Okay. Now, what I want you to focus on here is that notice that this electron fell the smallest and thus it had the highest wavelength or the lowest energy. Here, this fell further going from n equals 4 to n equals 2. It had a greater distance to fall, thus it had a shorter wavelength or a more energetic photon. And so as this gap is larger or increased, the photon coming from it is going to be higher energy or lower wavelength. If you have any questions in the hydrogen emission spectrum or the Balmer series, please let me know.